in 7.6, we're asked, uh, well, we're given the molar volumes for the solid and the liquid of lead. And we're saying if we want to increase the melting temperature by 20 K, uh, what do we have to do as far as changing the, the pressure? So this is going to be a problem in which we say we need this dp by dt, which again comes back to Clausius Klaprong over t delta v. Great. So uh, to do this, we need to look up some numbers, uh, in particular the latent heat of transformation. Uh, so at kind of standard uh, you know, one atmosphere, uh, delta H is equal to 4810 joule per mole, and this is from the table in the back of your textbook. Um, we have delta V is equal to 19.47 minus 8.92 is equal to 0 0.55. And this is in cubic centimeters. And we're going to be doing everything in, in liters. So this is cubic centimeter per mole. So that's going to be Delta V is equal to 0 0.55 times 10 to the minus 3 liter per mole. So there's 1,000 cubic centimeters per liter. So we've got del Delta V, we've got Delta H, and the melting temperature of lead is 600 K. So putting these in to here, we get dp dt is equal to 4810. And look, this is joule per mole. And we're dealing with uh, pressure and uh, volume in terms of liters. So this has to be divided by 101 to convert from joule to liter uh, atmosphere. Divided by 600 times 0 0.55 times 10 to the minus 3, or dp by dt is equal to 144 ATM per K. And we'll treat that as a uh, constant. Uh, it's not really, but it's pretty close to. There'll be small deviations uh, with small changes and 20 degrees is not a, not a big change. Uh, 20 degrees out of 600. So uh, we can treat this as constant, which means that now we have uh, delta T, so we can say delta P is equal to 144 times delta T 20, or delta P is equal to 2880 ATM. So that's the change in pressure, pressure necessary to uh, increase the temperature by 20 degrees.